<laughs> it's so good to see you it's and so congratulations. You. It's fantastic. It really is. So you went out there. Now, the thing about you is, as everybody says, you're a real grafter and you work really hard uh, because when you were, you were supposed to be going back over to the UK, you were getting on the plane and you got a call about James Corden, didn't you? Yeah, this was at the point of me having meetings with the show and really right. wanting to be part of the show. Yeah, this is the E. Yeah, yeah extra, yeah. And I was um, I was literally, you know, having meetings. It was kind of there, kind of wasn't. And they was like, we have an interview for you, a big one with James Corden. We love James Corden. The Late Late Show's huge over there. Um, and I was on a plane and I just didn't want to turn it down. I was next to my friend and I was like, I need to go back. It doesn't feel right. right. And I got off the plane, went and did the interview. It was brilliant and they called me up and that was kind of... One of the things that sealed it, just I my work it. ethic. And exactly. I think, Lorraine, you just mentioned there about, you know, a graft. I think, you know, lots of people graft. But I think the reason why I made sure I've had to do that is because when you're from a show like Towie, which I love and, you know, I remember it so much. Of course. It put me where I am, sat on this chair right now. <laughs> but it does come with a stigma sometimes, reality TV. And it's people think that, oh, he's not going to be able to do that, whether it be acting or presenting. And... Um, you have to work that little bit harder once you get it. But then also there's a plus side because you're already on the ladder. Exactly. But you're right. You have to sort of, it's almost like you've got something to prove. Yeah. And I mean, Niall Horan from One Direction, you did an interview with him and they were very impressed by that, which yeah. was great. So that was that was the sort of start. You were able to land a big fish yeah, there, yeah, exactly. for them. Yeah. And then, of course, that was sealed by the, the James Corden thing. And yes. then you've gone on to interview, well, everybody, really. Yeah. Everybody. Uh, I mean, yeah, I've Literally everybody. <laughs> I like this if I have to say so myself. I know it's great. Is there anybody that you haven't done yet and you're really desperate to do? Uh, Denzel Washington. Oh, um, gorgeous. You'll love him. Yeah, Eva <laughs> Mendes because she was always ah, my crush. Sorry, ah, Michelle. Well, she no, was no, no, before no. It's uh, show, obviously. It's uh, and Brianna because I think oh, she's uh, really cool. Yeah. Oh, that's but well, you will. You'll be doing them. Yeah. So look, you're over here to do the royal wedding. Yep. For extra. Yeah. So what are you going to be up to? Uh, so this week we've been interviewing people all week. I mean, we did Piers Morgan today because he's always got a great view on everything. Well, um, you should have spoken uh, to me before you interviewed him. I yeah. be giving you some lines. <laughs> 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 uh, um, it's good fun though, isn't yeah, it? He's he's so, yeah, he's so much fun. <laughs> uh, and then we're going to be at the venue on Saturday and Friday as well. Now you've what been married three years nearly? Yes. Three years. That's I think that's your leather one. So you can, hey, imagination. You can, <laughs> I'll leave that with you. I'll just leave that with you. And you two still, you're still bouncing backwards and forwards. Yeah. It's going okay. Yeah, we're back and Good. forward all the time. You know, sometimes I'm back here. Just I don't come back to work. I just come to see her for a for weekend. Sure. Under she the radar, you you fly yeah, we in. Kind of make sure it's every three weeks maximum that yeah. we don't see each other for. Of course, looked beautiful at the Baptist. Oh, we we incredible. were talking about that on Monday. She was my pick of. I mean, that dress. Was she looked so amazing. Remarkable. She did. She looked gorgeous. Mm, she did, amazing. You must be very, very proud. I was proud, but I was annoyed I couldn't be there. I was working I somewhere and I saw the picture. I was like, oh, I wish I was there. But that's the thing, the two of you are still really young. And, you know, and the way thing, the world is tiny now. And you can, it is doable for you to... I mean, you use the plane like the bus. Yeah, I think people, <laughs> I think we're, you know, people are told and taught that long-distance relationships can't work. And, for sure. But why can't they? That's just because on paper they can't work because everybody's used to being at home together every day of the week. But actually, if you, you know, as long as you see each other, see each other enough, why can't it work? It actually mm. keeps it fresh. And while we're young and we're both conquering our dreams, I'm out mm. there trying to, you know, make something happen. She's around the world acting and we're still so in love and so happy. So it's perfect. She's such a talented girl. She would be amazing in Hollywood. You yeah. have to get your connections. I'm trying, I'm trying to get, get it there. sorted yeah. so that she can do that. Because when I saw her in, at the BAFTAs in that outfit, I just thought that's Oscar all yeah, over it. It was, that, like, that, Oscar. It was like Oscar night. Yeah. Then you'd have to interview her. Yeah, I, yeah. <laughs> sure? I'm not sure that would, uh, <laughs> we'd, uh, we've spoken about that before, what would ever happen if I had to interview her. It just, we wouldn't work, would it? We'd just be having a chat. No, then again, it'd be a natural interview. You'd start giggling. you start, yeah, exactly. look at your girl. Look at that. She's Absolutely beautiful. Phenomenal. Now, but so... Oh, wow. oh no, she's She's stunning. amazing. Stunning. The thing about weddings, and you're going to be covering this wedding, is they do make you think of your big D. How was your big D? Um, it was amazing. Is it, it was fantastic? But I'm just looking at what Megan's going through now. There is oh. so much stress that comes with a wedding as well. You know, just the build-up and the planning and families normally cause you uh -huh. stress. <laughs> so what Megan's going through, I, know. I feel so sorry for her because there's enough stress on her shoulders anyway, the fact that a billion people are going to be watching this. But 
the fact that her dad's, you know, got involved in this kind of paparazzi situation and now he's unwell so he can't make it. It's very sad, isn't it's, it? Yeah, it's very sad. It is sad. It, re it really, really is because it's so, so important to have that. Because Michelle obviously had her dad there and that's that's important, isn't it? Yeah, it's, I it's mean... It's a big, big part of the day. That was probably one of the most important things for Michelle. Yeah, she was, yeah. I remember her, you know, she was always talking about what song she's going to dance to him with and, uh, you know, she cried on the day he cried. It was a moment... Yeah. that I think every daughter wants with their dad, right? Yeah, exactly, of course. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. But you're going to have a blast being back over here yes. and talking to everybody in Windsor. Yes, it's it is going to be... What I think what everybody wants is we just want the sun to shine, we want the two of them to have a lovely time, and it's a great excuse for a party. Mm, the sun is shining. I think I've brought it back from uh, California. Well done. Prince Harry, you should thank me, actually. <laughs> I bought the sun. Were <laughs> you bringing the sunshine yeah. over? And then after this, you're just going to bounce back and... Yeah, and I, go start... back, I go back for a week. Right. And then I come back here for a week to do Soccer Aid. Oh, uh, which of course. Is June 10th. Soccer Aid, yeah. Look yes, forward to that. I love doing that. That's um, brilliant. Then I go back to LA for a week and then back here for a week. I'm going to be doing a lot of flying during uh, you June. You are but... clocking up the air, Mills. Yeah. Brilliant to see you. Enjoy brilliant the wedding.